What's good, y'all? I'm going to just give y'all a real brief um, disclaimer. There will be background noise, preferably music and people talking, because no one has respect for me. But anyways, and it's going to be a glare, but look, I don't, I'm just going, I want to record this video because I'm feeling real good right now. So I'm going to record it and hopefully y'all enjoy it with all this extraness going on. I might throw some future on during this video. Okay. But we're going to get it. As you can tell by the title, this is my spring, summer trends, my haul, all mixed into one. So first we're going to start by the trends and then I can show you some stuff that I've bought that might go along with my trends and what not. So trend number one. What, 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 Okay, so trend number one is actually a very trendy thing right now. It's powder pinks and blues. So typically every summer I pick up that one amazing piece that's pink, but right now I kind of want, other than my one amazing piece, I want something powder pink. My glasses are so dirty, this is ridiculous. I want something that's powder pink, right? So I'm literally thinking about rats and the sneakers. I think I'm in powder pink and powder blue, and I want the powder blue, but I want something else that's powder pink. I don't know, I haven't found anything. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and drop it down below, hit me with the link, and then you never know, I might like it and shout out to you, the true one. Trend number two. Um, trend number two would definitely be khaki lights, um, khaki light nudes, caramels, off-white, of course, bright white. Those are definitely things I embrace um, throughout the year, but definitely way more in the summer. I love wearing all white. That is like me in a nutshell, in an eggshell. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> no, that, I probably like I was retarded. Um, but no, I love doing off-whites, bright whites, creams, nudes, caramels. I really love a caramel in the summer, especially when you have that tan, you have that glow, you're already looking like the glow goddess, and then you just add some caramel on top, you look amazing. So that's my number two thing. Number three, number three. I'm a denim girl. It's all about denim. Denim, 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 people. If it's a white denim, if it's a black denim, if it's a blue denim, hell, we can even do a peach denim if you want to. That used to be my thing, okay? So I love a good denim. Preferably, I love a good fitted white denim for summer and then a baggy blue denim. It has to be either or. I like my white jeans to actually fit to just like keep me comfortable and I can move a lot. But then I like my blue baggy denim to have like a lot of rips, be really baggy, because typically I don't wear tight clothes. So I like my blue denim to be like loose and just cooling in with a nice v-neck, okay? My trend for the fourth one, number four, number four, would be boho chic, but very minimal at best. Okay, so I'm with the boho chic, but it has to be minimal for me. So I have like a pair of clogs I've had since like 2010. They're my favorite clogs. I can count on my hand probably how many times I've worn them. But those definitely be pulled back out. So that is like my boho chic thing. Me adding like my little French bag or my clutch. That's my boho chic thing. Now I definitely probably would, I like to do like flowy shirts. But I really don't call that boho chic. Well damn, actually I do a lot of flowy shirts and then put Birkenstocks on. So people might think that's super boho i don't know i just like birkenstocks they're really comfortable whatever so yeah number four boho chic so let's hit it with the number five number five is definitely camouflage means where it's fired if you really know me you know i have camo sheets now not all the time okay guys typically my sheets are white and everything is just white and pretty and whatever whatever but when those sheets are dirty i always do my camo sheets on because i love them they're like tommy hilfiger they're really soft but anyways i love camo I actually have some camouflage material to turn into some like cute little shorts for the summer. But I love putting on a camo cargo with all white at the bottom. I just feel like you're just so clean but so cute. And then you can just throw on heels or like burger stocks and be fine. Like amazing. Um, and then menswear is fire. I love like a nice menswear pant that's like loose but like fits at the waist and just ugh, look. Or oh goodness, I just love men's jeans. They fit so good or like a men's mandarin collar and shirt first of all it looks so good on a man a mandarin collar i just want to like oh, it's so good so i really like those i like i would love to put one on and just like oh, yeah it just looks so good right yeah 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 okay so number one two three four five we are on six ladies your best friend is a shirt dress okay first of all i like i don't like to get dressed so if i get to wear a t-shirt dress or like a shirt dress 
I don't have to think about the top or bottom. All I gotta think about is shoes. The shoes are typically the easy point, okay? They're very easy. I like to build my outfit from the shoes because if you build it from the bot top, the, from the top, then go to the bottom, then you're like, damn, now I gotta try to figure out what shoes and then you end up changing your outfit. But from the shoes, totally different situation. Um, I love my t-shirt dresses. If you wanna like, if you're really big on t-shirt dresses, invest in your t-shirt dresses so you don't have to keep buying them all the time. So pick up like a helmet or Alexander Wang, or you can even just go to a nice place that sells a good t-shirt maybe for $50. Um, the button up shirt dress, love it. So cute. Now I don't like when people put a belt around it. You ruined it. Let it be. I don't need. I don't need to see where your waist is. I just want you to be simple and clean and fresh. So no belts around your button-up shirts. As dresses, just you know, do that. If you got a boyfriend, go steal some of his shirts because they probably fit you perfect, and you could cup the arms. And just be cool. I like to be able to breathe. I don't want anything like all tight on me in the summer for real, for real. Unless I'm really trying, you know, be out there. Okay. So shirt dresses. Is definitely, definitely six, seven would definitely be the sporty luxe. That's typically my look all the time. But in the summer, you kind of want to show a little bit more skin. So putting like a sports bra under a super sheer shirt, and then some sneakers at the bottom, cute. Especially if it's like a sheer shirt dress, then you can have kind of like a sports bra and like little biker shorts. I mean, obviously if it's a super sheer thing, I'm not wearing just underwear. I don't know about y'all. That's your thing, that's your thing. But I probably wear like some like short shorts under it and then just throw some sneakers on, you know, probably some Nikes or my Adidas. Maybe even, throw, maybe even throw like a New Balance one if I really want some comfort. And I'm just here for the sporty luck, especially the mesh. I'm gonna show y'all some stuff later on in the summer of some things I made with mesh and y'all gonna love it. Okay, so number eight will definitely be silk and lace. I'm here, I don't really like to embody sexiness because that's not my thing. But I feel like six, like silk and lace gives me the feminine and like flirty touch that I actually don't embody, okay? I don't, I'm not really feminine. Um, I'm not really like flirty at all. And if I am, I'm very unaware of it. So I like to wear that type of stuff because it just makes you feel like, mm, I'm cute. Like it makes you feel real girly, okay? Number nine, I've already spoke about it. I will speak about it again, Birkenstocks. Okay, Birkenstocks, guys. I love a Birkenstock. I had my first pair back in high school. I bought I saved money from like a summer job, and I bought me a damn Birkenstock. I really didn't save money. What am I lying about? But I did buy some Birkenstocks, and I finally had to toss them out because after like four or five years, they had they had their run through. So now I'm about to order another pair, and I can't wait because I love Birkenstocks, especially if they're all black. I found all black even in the inside. They're leather and wood. Can't wait. And then my last thing would definitely be the miniature bag. Ladies, Erica told you well. Bag lady, you gon' hurt your back. Mm -hmm. Carrying all them bags like that. No, but seriously, in the summer, you definitely will break a sweat if you're carrying around these big ass tote bags you all like to do. Drop the shit, for real. You don't need to carry all around it. You know you don't need all that stuff. For real, like, I used to be the one carrying the big ass bag with all this shit in it. And then I started making myself carry the small bags and I'd just be like, what do I even need in my purse for real? Except for essentials. So drop the shit and get a smaller bag, especially in the summer. You don't want to be like that girl who like they invite out and then you got like your bag takes up all the room. Like, no, you want to be the girl with a cute little clutch. I don't typically like doing clutches because I will leave it. Or like the cute little, just small little arm bag. Like ladies do better. Um, yeah, get a, get just a small bag. It can be inexpensive, especially if that's not your thing. Get a small bag at least for summer. So that was number 10. My 10 trends, my 10 things I love to do that I would do all year round basically. But it's a little bit more extra in the spring and summer. These grapes are thebomb.com. The bomb. But now we're gonna get into the, the part of the haul.